Good evening. It's a popular way to get some relief from the heat in central Texas, but the rules on the Comal and Guadalupe Rivers may be changing. New Braunfels city leaders have taken the first step to ban disposable containers on the Comal and Guadalupe. KXAN's Doug Shoup explains the reasons behind the move and why some say it will only hurt the city. On this hot summer day, Rhoda Byrath and her sister brought the kids to float the Comal River. My sister and I grew up coming here to the shoot, and we wanted to show these guys. But the river is not exactly as they remember. We just pulled out a couple of cans, and it doesn't feel so clean. Beer and then cigarettes, it smelled awful, and it made me just feel terrible. That's why New Braunfels City Council members voted Monday night on a first reading to prohibit disposable containers, like plastic bottles and beer cans. Permanent containers would still be allowed. People want to come here because the rivers are beautiful, but with all the trash and everything, it's just, they're not beautiful anymore. Styrofoam and glass are already prohibited. State law does not allow cities to regulate alcohol, but they can limit types of containers and sizes. Mayor Gail Pospisil says the city spends $155,000 a year removing trash from the rivers. People that want to drink will find a way to drink. But if they bring something that they're not going to throw into the river when they're through, with it. That's what we're trying to accomplish. City leaders say the behavior on the Comal River has been worse this year than in years past. Police have issued more citations and they've even had to close the river twice because of overcrowding. And although this ban is meant to prevent littering on the Comal, it could address some of those other issues as well. If there's some Unintended side consequences of that, that's okay with me, but I think the main thing is just getting that litter off the river. But some visitors are against the ban. Who wants to buy a 12-pack of beer and then buy another container and pour all the beer in there and drink it out of that? It's quite ridiculous. They say if the ban passes, many won't go to the rivers. They're going to lose a lot of tax revenues. The city will take a final vote on banning disposables August 22nd. Doug Shoup, KXAN News.